Today we'll be exploring the Loretto Academy in Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. In March of 2016, I was given the opportunity to explore and photograph the entire Loretto Academy Institute building, from floor to ceiling, basement to roof. Join me as I explore the Loretto Academy in Niagara Falls, Ontario, which opened in 1861. In the 1820s, a young Irish boy by the name of John Joseph Lynch saw a photograph of the Horseshoe Falls in Niagara Falls and decided that it was a natural place for people to worship God. This boy became a priest in the Congregation of the Missions and came to Texas in 1846. In 1856, he founded a seminary near Lewiston, New York, which is now Niagara University. As Archbishop of Toronto, he obtained six acres of land overlooking Niagara Falls on the Canadian side in 1861. He deeded it to the Loretto nuns, who had established themselves in Toronto since their arrival from Ireland in 1847. On this land was a tavern known as the Canada House, which was renovated and converted into a convent and a school by the nuns. The school opened in September of 1861 under the guidance of the first superior of Loretto Academy, Mother Joachim Murray. This school attracted day students from Chippewa, Clifton, Drummondville, and Niagara Falls, New York, as well as boarders from Toronto, Guelph, Buffalo, Rochester, and Lockport. The yearly tuition at Loretto was $80 to $100, a significant amount in those days. In 1864, Mother Regis Harris took over as the superior of the academy. In 1869, a sturdy stone structure known as the North Wing was built, and plans for a new main building were drawn up in 1879 to 1880. The new building was completed by the beginning of the 1900s and was called the Loretto Convent of the Blessed Sacrament.
On January 19, 1938, a disastrous fire destroyed the interior of the South Wing. Fortunately, none of the sisters or boarders were injured, and the stone walls of the building remained intact, allowing for reconstruction. In the interim, boarders were sent to Loretto's sister school, Loretto Abbey, in Toronto, Ontario, and day students resumed classes in the undamaged North Wing. The reconstruction was completed by September of 1938, and the school reopened. The Loretto Academy celebrated its 100th anniversary in 1961. In 1970, the boarding school was closed, and Loretto became the Catholic High School of Niagara Falls until 1982, when St. Paul High School was converted from a senior school. The building operated as the Loretto Convent and Christian Life Center as a site for religious retreats for many students within the Catholic School Board until its closure in 2006. The new building that was constructed in the 1870s and the 1880s remains there to this day. The southern wing and much of the structure's roof was destroyed in the massive fire of June of 1938. 
the cause of which was up for debate even at that time. Loretto's North Wing remained relatively untouched and survives to this day. The Loretto property is currently owned by one of Niagara's major hotel chains and as such is private property and off-limits to visitors. The city of Niagara Falls has approved plans to build a three-tower high-rise complex on the site, featuring a 57-story hotel, a 42-story tower, and a 32-story tower. Models unveiled with the proposal have shown that the center of these three buildings will incorporate the existing Loretto complex into its river-facing facade. Given how dramatic a change these towers would be to the area, there has been very much, very vocal local opposition to this construction. <laughs>